Uh, good morning, all people here. Um, and thank you for, for inviting us uh, to this uh, dialogue. Uh, we speak uh, both, but uh, I am from the university. Here is uh, Ignacio, that is uh, from the government, and is the person that uh, has uh, work, working with, uh, with us because uh, he thinks that uh, we are good collaborators with the government mm -hmm. in the change of the of the kind of uh, work in the in all the country because our university is not a city university it's a regional university uh, of a small region but with uh, two and a half uh, million of people okay uh, i think it's uh, better that uh, ignacio speak the the project because is the father of that okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for the invitation and the opportunity to be here uh, sharing our experience. And first, uh, I would like to point out some, some issues that this inspiring morning has uh, have came to my, to my mind. Uh, what we are going to explain now is uh, are, are developed in the framework of the Basque Urban Agenda, Ulchatu 2050, Ulchatu is a Basque uh, word that means push in the sense of uh, push everybody in the same way. Uh, and it's the developing the 11 SDG, as you know, in the concept that uh, the uh, 11 SDG is the main uh, uh, SDG in which the 17 SDGs are implemented in where we work, we live, we uh, uh, social have our social contacts and so on. And also in the concept that uh, the urban agenda is not only for the city, but for all the territory. In this sense, uh, we developed our urban agenda for the Basque Country, uh, looking the Basque Country as a medium uh, city with two million people, because in the, in, in the Basque Country it's a very small uh, country. Have you ever been there? Anyone? Nobody? Oh, one, two, three, yeah. or oh, well, <laughs> some of you. Okay, so it's, as you know, it's a very small but very big uh, territory, very big country. Very nice. It's very nice. Only two million people, uh, 7,000 square kilometers, but very urban, a very high urban density because our geography is so, so complex. And uh, in this sense, the urban agenda uh, is uh, about all the territory, not only the cities, but all the territory, because we have this uh, territorial model in which urban and rural linkages are really, really connected. So, uh, is the framework in which we are uh, working uh, for the implementation of the 17 SDGs, and with one project specifically focused on the neighborhoods in which we are trying to take the neighborhood like the main element, the basic element in which develop all the, all the SDGs. So uh, the, the projects uh, we are going to talk about are those that we are working with the university in very strong and close uh, uh, connection. It started in uh, in 2010, probably 2010, and are those that I am uh, showing you: the urban vulnerability, uh, vulnerability inventory, the long-term uh, intervention strategy for the Basque countries building stock, then the Open Gela project is a age 2020 project uh, that is focused. Uh, it was the, the main the the real the the real name was Hyros for all, home integrated one uh, one stop source for vulnerable people. So Hyros is very very strong name, almost like in light. But we changed the name to the Open Gela, that is a mix from uh, English and Basque. Open, you know what is, and Gela in Basque is like room, office, something like that. So. It's an open, open, open room for everybody that are, uh, we'll see, just in the center of the, in the middle of the neighborhoods. 
Also, the research innovation and smart specific system strategy that uh, we are leading in the in the vast country science, science technology and innovation plan. And finally, in which we are just now starting the Center for Research, research and Innovation in Urban Regeneration. Excuse me. Yes. The Urban Vulnerability Inventory uh, is, uh, was developed in 2007. It, uh, we, we analyzed uh, several dimensions, six, five dimensions, and another uh, six point uh, regarding the density, not only population but also buildings, and with dimensions focused on social vulnerability, social vulnerability, and socio-economic vulnerability. Habitability of the dwellings, of the housing. Accessibility not only physically itself, but also to the uh, uh, facilities in the neighborhood. And uh, stability of the buildings and energy efficiency, like uh, the last dimension in which we are developing the, the next uh, project I told you. We are trying to put in the first point the how to define the rehabilitation strategies and to establish priorities of an intervention strategies on the neighborhoods, mainly in the most vulnerable neighborhoods, having in mind that Leipzig card, the model includes different variables, looking for an integral point of view structured in five dimensions. Two projects are particularly noteworthy, diagnosis of the needs for intervention in the renovation of the buildings in the Basque Country, uh, which was the law between 2011 and 2012 by the Caviar Group from the University of the Basque Country, plus uh, Yeo uh, S Group from the Polytechnic University of Madrid, and the Research Center Technalia. And uh, we are now updating uh, it uh, of the identification and the autopoly model of vulnerable uh, new uh, urban areas in the uh, Basque Country carried out during 2020 period in which CORE has collaborated. The long-term intervention strategy for the Basque Country's building stock is related to the Article 2 of the Directive uh, 2010, modified by the EU Directive uh, 844, and this project is complementary to the one described before. According with the BAS uh, government competences, it aims to establish a complete diagnosis of the residential stock in order to lay the foundations uh, for the elaboration of the strategy for long-term intervention in the Basque country's building stock, mainly related to energy refurbishment. In this way, it seeks to achieve a dual objective, to guarantee habitability that is socially acceptable by reducing existing inequalities in the residential stock and to comply with the European objectives of the decarbonization of the building stock for the period 2020-2050. The preliminary study for this preparation of a long-term action plan for the vast countries building stock was carried out in 2019 led by the Directory of Territorial Planning, Urban Planning and Urban Regeneration, coordinated the Directorate of Territorial Planning and Urban Agenda, with the collaboration of Caviar Group from the University of the Basque Country. The project is structured in two stages. In the first one, the residential park was characterized in three phases. In the first phase, architectural characterization is seek to define the parameters and indicators with the highest impact on the energy performance of the buildings, as well as the possibilities for energy rehabilitation. The second phase uh, in, uh, was focused on energy characterization of all the uh, building stock, on defining the thermal behavior and energy demand of each building in order to maintain certain comfort conditions in the current uh, state, as well as the potential for improvement through the refurbishment intervention, and finally, economic characterization from the perspective of the energy cost and its effects on the household economy, as well as the impact of the energy refurbishment intervention on its economy efficiency. In the second one, 
Uh, it is working on intervention menus and rehabilitation strategies, and this world is for the definition of a building passport tool that is defined to establish the phases of implementation of the action over time. The previous projects served to carry out the diagnosis of on an autonomous scala and to design the way to face the main needs identified, that are management financial instruments and tools, and of course, the support to the neighborhoods and the neighbors. The Pengelaga project focuses on the implementation of building renov renovation and urban regeneration policies. It's a project financed by the European Commission Horizon 2020 program that seeks to extend urban regeneration in the Basque Country by using neighborhood offices that act as a single point of contact for local residents, as well as to develop a new business model focused on integral urban regeneration with an affordable finance mechanism. The office in each neighborhood, the Open Gela, centralized the procedures related to the compressive renovation process of the buildings, maintaining a close relationship with the citizens, and began with two pilot cases, the neighborhoods of Ocharcuaga in Bilbao and Chontai neighbor. Currently, two more Open Gela offices have been set up in Durango and La Sarteoria, and there are plans to set up uh, 36 more in different vulnerable neighborhoods in the Basque Country. This, in, this initiative is part of the proposals presented to the European Funds for Post-COVID-19 Reconstruction Next Generation EU, included in the BAS, uh, BAS uh, Next Generation Project 2026. Finally, through the Science, Technology and Innovation Plan, it seeks to achieve progress in research and innovation. The uh, Iskari 2030 uh, Technology Innovation Plan is a required instrument to materialize the Basque countries and contribution to the Sustainable Development Goals as a whole as part of the commitment assumed in the Euskadi Basque Country 2050 Agenda and the uh, Urban Agenda of the Basque Country 2050, Bulchatu 2050 establishes the strategy priorities as well as the territories of opportunity in this context is a work highlighting the territory of opportunity in sustainable cities. It aims to meet the three transitions with an impact on the vast country, technologies, digital, energy, environmental, and demographic social. In this context, it has been defined the strategy C short 30, plan for the revitalization and promotion of innovation in the field of sustainable cities in the vast country. This strategy is developed on the basis of the foresight work carried out and under the umbrella of the Bus Urban Agenda Bulchatu 2050 and the 2017-2020 Strategy Compressive Regeneration for Sustainable Development. The main objectives are to promote scientific excellence, technological and industrial leadership, and open innovation, and to implement the Bus Urban Agenda Bulchatu 2050. The specific objective is to promote smart innovation in the field of sustainable cities by strengthening of lines of work with a driving and agglutinating capacity. It, is, it defines broad and complex topics which are affected uh, by the three major transition and an impact on the vast country technological, digital, energy, environmental, and demographic social, and which in turn can have an impact on the general objectives of the carbonization, adaptation, and mitigation of climate change. In addition, close links with be sought by both the Pengela program and the projects to be launched with the European Reconstruction Funds. Next generation, so that the knowledge acquired is contrasted, validated, and implemented in, in demonstration actions. The action plan for the dynamization and implementation of the uh, innovation and technology plan of the SCADI 2030 in the field of sustainable cities, known by the acronym CISO 30, proposes a program divided in four lines of action that are developed in parallel. The general objectives of the project are to generate knowledge and strategies to advance in implementation of the urban agenda, to generate opportunities uh, so agents, both public and private, linked to the field of the sustainable cities can participate actively and effectively in the transformation required within the framework of the urban agenda and in the strategic priorities of the Basque Country 2030 Technology Innovation Plan. The aim of this plan is to study the disruptive strategies for the adaptation of neighborhoods to the three mega transitions identified in the Rice Tree and to promote the innovation of the industrial and technology fabric of the Basque Country in this field, as well as to generate citizen structures that assist in the transformation towards the sustainable city. As part of the plan, 
for the revitalization and promotion of innovation, CISO 30 has carried out a surveillance and soft foresight work to define the lines of war with a driving and agglutinating capacity. This work has been carried out initially by the Caviar Group and then validated with entities of the sector such as government and public entities, companies and association clusters and vast science, technology and innovation network. As a result, a working group has been created for each of the defining lines. Three of them are related to the thematic areas urban mobility and integration of renewables, neutralization and green infrastructure, and circular economy and sustainable architecture. In addition, a four line was considered necessary to define in order to develop governance and international network tools. These working groups given, give support to the actions being carried out in the vast government, such as Technology Innovation Plan 2030, Opengela Network, surveillance and foresight processes, and urban performance structures. Among the activities being carried out by the Directorate of Territorial Planning and Urban Agenda, it is worth highlighting the development of CU, Center for Research and Innovation in Urban Regeneration, whose main objective is to promote and develop strategies for the transfer of scientific excellence in the field of sustainable cities in order to promote strategic projects taking into account the triple global transition. This center is currently being established the idea is to create a university centre which, with the, present, the participation of the government and several research groups. And also, external institutions could be linked to this entity, other universities or agents from the business and social fabric. It currently includes the collaboration of the Directorate of Territorial Planning and Urban Agenda, the University of the Basque Country, and the Polytechnic University of Madrid. It lines of work are lying are aligned with those defined as having the greatest innovation potential for the vast country. And we are currently working on the constitution and organization of this center. It will take the form of a university center, but will have a management entity associated with it, which will be organized and promoted by private initiative cluster of companies and will constitute an economic interest grouping. And in turn, the government will participate through the Urban Regeneration Service and the Bus Finance Institute. This center will have as mission the promotion of innovation and transfer in the field of urban regeneration, and for this purpose, it will work on the implementation and management of projects. The main challenge of this center is to transform the reality of cities, responding to the sea transition and making them better, fairer, more sustainable, healthier, and involving citizens in the process. Those are the trinity that we have heard this morning about the multi-level and multi-stakeholder governance, the public bodies, the universities and research centers, and also companies, clusters, and social agents. This is the framework in which we are developing and we are giving the support of the Basque Urban Agenda Bulchato 2050. Thank you so much. Important, we are, we are making this center uh, for research and innovation in, in uh, urban regener regeneration. And we wait uh, all of you to work with us because we think that there are ideas a lot, but we need to work, to work to change the cities. Thank you.